Welcome to a quick tutorial on how to install Blades and Sorcery mods for, well, Blades and Sorcery. This is going to include the Blood mod or any mod. So, let's get right to it. Open Google. We are literally going to Google Blades and Sorcery mods. Nice and easy. Click. The first thing that should pop up is literally Blades and Sorcery mods on the Nexus mods website. Now, once you click on that, nice and easy so far. Now, you're going to have, a, have an account. You need to log in. That's very easy. Just using an email. doesn't matter. Uh, but let's just go pick a random mod and the mod has to be for the same update So we're on u10 now, which is fantastic and I'm going to search the blood mod and luckily The first thing that pops up is the realistic bleeding realistic blood mod bleeding u10. I can't read. I'm sorry <laughs> uh, Go click on that Perfect. This is the one I like. This is the one we all like <laughs> so two ways of doing it which I cannot do the first one, which is the Vortex, which is nice and easy. But the way I do it, which tends to work a lot of the time, is through the manual download. This works for smaller mods. If it's a bit big, it may be a bit of a pain in the ass, but it is still fine. So we go to manual, we click manual. And you just got to do the slow download. It's free and it's small enough that it's nice and easy, no dramas. Okay, that's going to start downloading down here. Perfect. And you will need WinRAR to open these things. It's nice and easy, no dramas. It's uh, basically just to compress the files as you download them. We we'll open it up. Oops, it's going to open down here. Okay, let's get out of this. So this was inside that folder we just installed. Now let's go over to Steam. We're at the Blades and Sorcery. You right click, you go to Manage, Browse Local Files. Let's bring that up. You go to Blades and Sorcery Data. Go over to streaming assets and to mods from there i've got a few mods in here i've already got realistic bleeding but for the sake of it i'll show you so this is the zip folder we just downloaded literally drag and drop into here and i've already got it so it doesn't really matter boom and that's it but for uh, other purposes i'm going to just install another mod because i've already had that one so i can show you so we go to uh, blade of the fallen i haven't downloaded this one before looks pretty cool it's a broken blade very nice does not need any requirements. Sometimes some mods require you to download another mod, which is at the same process, but just fine. So you go to manual. See, this one gives you two options here. Using the, man, uh, the this one has like two different versions of the same mod here. So one has no trail and one is just a trail. What's a trail? Let's just go no trail, because why not? Manual download. It's only 10 MB, fantastic. Slow download, yep. Wait the five seconds. That's doing its thing. She's downloaded, perfect. Let's open her up. Back here, uh, let's do the same thing. We go to manage, browser local files. There she is. Uh, da -da -da, streaming assets, mods, and then we drag this Blade of the Fallen right into there. And that's it. You don't have to do anything else. You can get out of this, get out of that. And let's have a look. All right, here we are, Blades and Sorcery. Now, let's go over to the book. And what did I just download? A sword. There you go, perfect sword. Blade of a Fallen Templar. Let's spawn it. There you go. Looks pretty cool. Oh, it's got some good stabbing. Huh? See, I've got my sword. Oh, come on. There you go. And see, I've got the realistic bleeding as well. That is nice. Oh! Oh! Alright, well, thank you for watching, and I hope this helped. Yeah!